Hi guys, welcome to this module on Microsoft Visio reports. On the screen I have an organisational chart which is basically my family tree and I'm going to use this organisational chart to create a report and send that report into Excel. Before I do that I'm going to point out that I have added some extra shape data, a salary field, so if I click onto each of these shapes you can see that salary field. Now to run a report you need to be on the review tab and then shape reports. Now I've already created a new one called salary which I'm just going to run and then we'll recreate this to show you how I did it. So I'm clicking on run. It gives me this, these options. I'm going to leave it on Excel. Click OK and then it generates the report based on the fields I have previously selected. So it opens up Excel, just make that full screen. So you can see all the details that is in the spreadsheet represents each of those shapes that was part of that report. I'm just going to left align this a minute and just block off the total rows so you can see it more clearly. So each department is represented and any information that is in the shape is presented in this Excel spreadsheet. And you can see at the bottom I've also added a field or an option to pull in the grand total. Now what's good about this type of report is immediately you can see any inconsistencies like um, information missing out of these fields, no email, no name, no, pr uh, no salary or no phone number and things like that. So it's very good visually to look at that sort of information and all this information sits in the background of those shapes. If I just do control W to close that and then press the letter N on the keyboard because I don't want to save that. I'm now going to go through that process and create a new report from scratch. So first of all just to remind ourselves how we add these extra fields. If I um, just bring a manager on so because I've already done this in this file, these shapes will already have this field, but I'll just show you how I did it. So there's a manager. I dropped three shapes on there. And then I highlighted all of the shapes that I wanted to have this additional uh, field. And then I right clicked, went into data and then define shape data. And then I selected new, so new from the bottom, typed a title, I did set it to currency and I selected a format that I would that I wanted, which was this one. In fact, I'm going to change that slightly to that one. I like that one better. Click OK. And that is basically how I added an extra field, which I then can populate with information. And then I can run a report to produce that information. So I'm just going to delete all those for a second. And click back onto this shape just to show you that there's the money so you would have to type that in but all the information sits in the background of these shapes now to run the reports you need to be on the review tab and shape reports to create a new one you're clicking on new and then it gives you the options in this option I want is shapes on the current page I'm going to go next now I've got the option of ticking things on or off here so I'm going to tick on all the fields that I would like to appear in my report. So I'm just ticking all these fields at the bottom. There's the salary field. So that would not normally be there unless you add it prior to this process. Going next, I'm going to call this um, salary one. And I want to do subtotals. So subtotals um, gives me the option of each of the fields here. I'm going to use department. And then I need to select the information I want to display. So for the salary field I want the total and the average per department and the medium per department. I also have this options feature which I'm going to click on there just to make sure I don't have any duplicates and show grand totals basically is the one I want. Should give me the grand total of all the salaries at the bottom of the report in Excel. Click OK to that option. Click OK again. There's a title, go next. I've got sort features before I go next. If I needed to sort by anything, I could use that feature, but we're going to leave that as default. Next, I'm going to call it salary um, one. 
save this in this drawing or put it into a file. I'm going to leave it in this drawing and then click finish. There it is. And then I can run that. It gives me the options of Excel, HTML, etc. I'm going to leave it on Excel. Click OK to that. And then it should generate the report and drop it into Excel in the same way as I showed you earlier. Just make that full screen. So there's all the information, the head office, the HR department, sales training. And at the bottom, I should have the grand total, which I do have of all the sales. So once this is in Excel, you can modify it in Excel, highlight the whole sheet, click on left align maybe, and then block off anything that you want to stand out to make it easier to read or see. And because it is in Excel, you've got all the Excel functionality to use if you so wish. But that is basically how you generate a report in Visio and send it into Excel. So thank you for your time. That's the end of this session and see you on the next one.